situation unless it's you know unless unless I'm bored or I do double XP or it's double XP day on the races and stuff. Because in my opinion it's good to have a lot of military vehicles in the game as well as flash sport cars, you know. Because all you're really saying is all you're really saying is, oh yeah man, I like I like to get money by, you know, winning a lot of races, you know. To be fair, the races don't give you that much even if you come first place. I mean I think the highest amount I think I've seen someone won about 30,000 or something. But then, yeah. Even in double XP, I don't think it gives you much or something. Yeah, I think someone said if you even on a good, if you've got quite a lot of people in your lobby and you come first place, I think you win 30,000, but. Yeah, but when you, if you've got lots of sports cars and you haven't got enough money to buy a military vehicle, when it comes to double XP days in the uh, mission and the high season or something, then you don't have a you know enough money to buy a good military vehicle and stuff. But then you've got other. Mate, you've got other guys with really good military vehicles and stuff. I mean, I think I mentioned a video a while ago that, like, you know, I was playing with, like, some guy in a heist or something, and we were doing this heist, this, you know, part of the uh, gun, part of the um, prison break heist, when you're supposed to clear an airfield of enemies and stuff and then fly the plane and stuff and we ended up trying it two times because uh because uh the thing is the first the first time i i i uh i ended up i ended up not dying at all in that mission because i had like a big military vehicle i can't remember it's called the one on the one with the gun on top or something, like the detergent custom. And it's got a gun on the top. I can't remember what it's called. I ended up having that vehicle. I stayed in that vehicle. I didn't die one one mission. Uh, all the others had sports guards. And they raced ahead. They tried to kill all the guys, they kept dying and stuff and then we had to do it over and over again they kept dying again and then they finally realised that you know if they get in this military vehicle they'll be alright and stuff and then we, we killed all the guys we moved all the cars out of the way and then the guy you know flying the helicopter smashed you know crashed it into the ground so so after the third after the third try um They wouldn't do it anymore because they were kind of fed up at that point or something. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, they were kind of fed up at that point and so they didn't want to do it again. And, uh, yeah, so they just didn't do it again. I would, you know, I would. You know, I want, I didn't mind doing it again because, you know, you get money, you still got money for it, you know. But it's just a pain in the ass that, it's a bit of a pain in the ass that people can't do it right, but you do get money for it for dying, you know. I mean, like, it's a, except the person setting up the heist, he gets nothing for it, you know. I couldn't care less because, you know, I, you know, I would do it like a million times if, if I had to, because uh, at the end of the day, I'm not the, I'm not the, I didn't, I didn't set up the house, and um, yeah, 
I didn't shut up the heist, so I'll get low. I'll get money for it. Not, a, not a lot of money. I'll maybe get a hundred pound for dying, but at the end of the day, that that's really all I need to be honest. I mean, it would, good, it would be good to win the heist and then get more money. But at the end of the day, I'm happy with a hundred because, you know, I've got like a load of money at the moment. And yeah, so I'm unhappy, completely happy. Again, if, I, if I'm setting up a heist, if, if you're setting up a heist guide, make sure you have people that are going to be able to do it and auto. I mean, I have a lot of friends, so it's... I always do my high seat with my friends and stuff. So. I mean, at the end of at the end of the day, guys. Like I just said, I uh, uh, with Heises, I was going with Heises. Um, us, you know, I don't have a lot. Of, I have a lot of money, so I don't really care if I fail it. I can do it. Over, I can do it over and over and over again until we get it right and stuff. That's just kind of guy I am. A really patient guy and stuff. I mean, some people, you know, just you know. I just say to people, like, right, if you're not going to, you know, they quit after three tries. Um, I would probably do it after, I mean, some people in this world are so impatient, they would quit after one or two tries, or, or maybe three tries. I would probably sit in there until about, six or seven tries or something or maybe even ten because although although um i just want to uh i just want people to get out of it and do the me do the heist and stuff i want them to do it right it's um i will sit in there for ten tries because Because I'm getting money for dying, and I, you know, I quite like getting like a hundred pounds for dying and stuff. I mean, I know it's like, oh, it's a pretty, there probably are going to be tons of people, you know, saying like, oh, you're stupid, you're mad in GTA, why would you do that, you know. And the thing is, you know, most of my money has just come from like sitting in like missions and stuff all day and uh, helping people and stuff and um, you know I'm failing missions and stuff I mean I'm not it's not it's probably not something I'm proud of you know but I do tend to do it because you know I like it and uh, I do like it and um, I'm really patient. I'm a patient kind of guy and and uh, yeah, I just sit in there because like because I want to try and I want to try and help people over and over again. I want to try and do it until we get it right, you know. But I don't want to. I don't want. You know, I 
because I want to, you know, try and help people with their high shoes and stuff, and let them finish it and stuff, because I'm trying to help people get money that way, you know, and do their high shoes, as well as them, you know, doing my nightclub mission or my motorbike club mission if they want to and stuff. I mean, as well, you know, like I don't get mad as well when people blow up my cargo as well, so, yeah, so that's alright. I'm not like the, I'm not like people out there who moan about people blowing out their cargo and stuff. Um, yeah. But anyway, guys, I'm going to end it there, so like, comment, subscribe, and bye, guys, peace. Stay safe guys and have a nice day guys. Take care guys. Bye. Bye guys. Bye. Stay safe guys. Yeah. And yeah, stay out in trouble. Bye. Bye guys. Bye.